Hey, hey, HRpreneurs. Listen, I came across the scripture and I gotta share it with y'all <laughs> um, because it really does have a lot uh, to do with those of us that are called to HR. If you've watched any of my videos that have worked with me before, you know that I am huge about teaching HR professionals how to turn their HR skills into a profitable business. But I really enjoy working with those who know they are called to it. It just makes a big difference when you when you know what you're called to. It it it, it inspires you to keep going despite circumstances that happen in life. It lets you know that there will be a an end because you have started and you know that God has started a good thing in you, all right, and He will bring it to completion. Um, so today. If you have your Bible, please pause this recording um, and go get it, okay? I'm, I'm old school with mine. So um, yes, I do have physical Bibles. Obviously, you can pull it up on your phone. But I just need y'all to really see this, especially those that you know that you are called to start an HR business. And you know that it's, especially those of you that know that it's not just a side hustle for you. I think you're really going to get something out of this today. Amen. And um, even those that maybe you stumbled across this video, you're like, hey, I'm not starting an HR biz. Listen, I believe that you're going to get something too. Okay. Um, so I'm reading out of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5, and I'm reading out of the New King James Version. Okay. So it says, who then is Paul and who was Apollos? But, but ministers through whom you believed as the Lord gave to each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, and each one will receive his own reward according to his labor. So I really want to ask my HRpreneurs today whenever you are watching this, what are you planting? Are you still sitting on the seed? <laughs> are you still holding the seed of hope? The seed of your HR business? The seed of, oh, you need to get, so are you still holding on to the seed or are you planting? Because one of the things I do know is that when you decide to put the seed in the ground, it opens up opportunities for people to come and water. Because what ends up happening, as the word says, we end up becoming one. But there must be somebody who is bold enough to put the seed in the ground. Nothing can harvest if it's not planted. When you know that you are called to something, that means that there's a seed in you. But then you get to decide how you're going to plant the seed. Are you going to plant it for the kingdom, for God to get the glory? Or are you going to plant it? Uh, or are you going to hold it to yourself? Or are you going to plant it in another area for other people to get the glory? I hope y'all are picking them what I'm putting down. Paul says, I planted Apollo's water, but God gave the increase. Amen. God is a good God. He is not going to give you an idea and not help you through it. I'm a witness. I didn't know where clients were coming from. I had no idea. And I lost clients too. But what you lost doesn't change the promise of God over your life. It doesn't change. It doesn't change at all. There's even scripture that says that um, the calling and gifts of God come with no repentance. In Jeremiah 1, it says, for he knew Jeremiah before he was in his mother's womb right? He knows us before we were even created. We are called and destined for things. So it is important that if you are sitting by, I'm glad and so grateful that you are watching our, my videos. But if you are walking away from this video without feeling an, 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 a, 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 a stirring up, then go watch somebody else. <laughs> right? Because I know without a shadow of a doubt that those of us that are called to business, that are called, called to the marketplace, especially through HR services, there is a time for such, there is time for you for such time as this, right? Um, but you must plant, <laughs> you must plant. And that's what I do. I help people plant. 
because God is the one who gives the increase. When you know that you were called, you don't have to worry. Things may not go all how you want it to go. You got your own plans. That's how we do, don't we? Oh yeah, in three months, I'm gonna make six figures in my business. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I have stories on that for another day, right? But you must plant. Because if you don't plant, how will Apollos come to water? What is he watering? The dirt? There's no seed in the ground. What are we watering? What is God going to breathe on and increase? If there's nothing in the ground, you must plant your seeds, HR for newer. All right. Um, because at the end of it, if you, if you keep reading, I, I encourage you all actually to keep reading because he talks about it, you know, in, in this word, it, there's an example of just pretty much uh, letting us know that we are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwells in us. And it's just a really great reminder that, uh, if he is for us, there is nobody that can be against us, right? And he that's within us is greater than he that is in the world. So because of that, we really got a lot of ammo. We really we really got a lot of ammo when you know that you were called. And what I want to encourage you, because I know that I tend to always ask, kind of recheck, like try to check in uh, with the Lord and say, hey, you know, what are you calling me to in this season? And, you know, what is my, my I, I know I have, I'm very clear on what my purpose is, but in my purpose, there are phases of things that I am supposed to do that all come back to the purpose, if that makes sense, right? So I'm always trying to make sure that I'm being clear about what am I supposed to do in this particular season? Uh, because just because what just because you did something in the last season doesn't mean that it's the same seed that you have that you're planting in this season, right? There are times to plant strawberries and then there are times to plant nuts, right? I don't really know too much about either one of them, but y'all get what I'm saying, right? There's times to plant different things. So you got to know which season you're in so you know which seed to plant. But regardless, if you know that you were called, your only responsibility is to plant seed. So Apollos, whoever else can come and water and that God can provide the increase. I hope this has blessed you, HRpreneurs. If you are looking for any support, for your HR business, whether it's starting and or launching it to the next level. I want to be able to work with you. If you feel like we are fit, um, feel free to look at the description box below um, to see the ways that you could be connected um, and stay connected and also work with me. Uh, but again, my name is Hannah Gant and I teach HR professionals how to turn their skills into a profitable business. Until next time, don't forget to command your day.